Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We bring you greetings from the Holy Trinity Church located at 66 Federal Street. Amen. Here in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut, we welcome you. Amen. To our virtual service for this afternoon, March the 7th. Amen. 2021. We bless the name of the Lord for allowing us to see another day. He has blessed us. He has woken us up this morning and started us on our way. And for that, we give him the glory, the honor, and the praise. We bless him for his continuous blessings that are bestowed upon us. And we bless the name of the Lord for yet another opportunity, amen, to come to his house of worship, amen, just for a little while, amen. We're going to begin our service, amen, and we're going to call on the praise team for our opening song, amen, bless the name of the Lord. And after the praise team comes, I will come with prayer and scripture. Amen. The praise team will come back and lead us in praise and worship. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord again for you, you and you joining us. Amen. Online for our virtual service. We welcome you one and we welcome you all. God bless you. Praise team. Amen. Praise the Lord. The song says, I love you. I love you, Lord, today. That's why I praise you and I lift you up, I lift you 
and I magnify, I magnify your name. That's why I praise you, and I lift you up, I lift you and I magnify, I magnify your name. That's why I praise you, and I lift you up, I lift you and I magnify. And I magnify the name of the Lord. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Just join me for a few moments in a word of prayer. God, we thank you and we bless you. Oh, God, because we realize our heart is filled with praise. We love you. We rejoice and we bless your name on today. We thank you and we praise you. Oh, God, for the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us, God, we just say thank you on this afternoon. Oh, God, for how you woke us up on this morning. You started us on our way. Oh, God, we had the blood running warm in our veins. We bless your name on today. We bless, oh, God, the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us, God, even those that are here in the sanctuary, God, even those that are listening online. Touch, bless, heal, deliver, set free in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, you know what we all stand in need of, God. You know, we just ask that you touch each and every one of us, God. God, continue to look on your bishops, pastors, everywhere, God, on this entire United States, God. Even bless our own Bishop Riley, God, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen him, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God, even his entire family, God. Touch in the name of Jesus. We bless you and we praise you, God, for how you've been so good to us and how you've been so kind to us and how you've been so merciful to us, God. And we thank you, we praise you, we bless you. Oh, God, once again, God, you've allowed us to come into your house of worship to give your name the glory, the praise, and the honor, God. Oh, God, something we just don't take for granted, and we bless you for it. We thank you for it, God. Oh, God, we ask that you bless this service on this afternoon. Send your word through your manservant. In the name of Jesus, bless somebody on today. Save somebody on today. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, deliver, heal, touch somebody on today. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh, we thank you for it right now. Holy Spirit, you are always welcome in this place. Permeate, oh, God, this place in the name of Jesus. We thank you for it right now. We bless you for it right now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Amen. Just briefly, uh, in the way of scripture, amen. I'll be coming from the book of... First Peter, First Peter chapter number four, amen, and I'll begin at verse number six, First Peter chapter four, beginning at verse six. For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh but live according to God in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. Amen. Verse 10, as every man hath received a gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. And the word of the Lord is always blessed. 
Amen. We thank God for you, you and you joining us, amen, in our virtual service. Amen. For those of you who are first joining us, we bring you greetings from the Holy Trinity Church located at 66 Federal Street, amen, in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. Amen. Our praise team is coming once again to lead us into praise and worship on this afternoon. Amen. Praise team, God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. The song says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. We ask that wherever you are, you join on, you sing along with us, you clap your hands. Made me glad. What a mighty God. 
he has made me glad. Come on, if he has made you glad, just begin to put your hands together and give him some praise. Come on, come on, the song says, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say that this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. Come on, any glad people in today? Any glad people here on today that will say, I am glad? Come on, I am glad. Come on, I am glad. I'm glad to be in the house one more time. I'm glad to be in his presence one more time. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, right there, just lift your hands and worship him. Come on, right there, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. 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 God, we worship you. God, we give your name praise. Hallelujah. 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 And for that, we exalt your name in this place. We exalt you in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Water you turned into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. There's none like you. Into the darkness you shine. And out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. There's none like you. And we say our God is greater and our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer and awesome in power. Our God, our God, and we say our God is greater, and our God is stronger, and Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, and awesome in power. Our God, our God, what are you turned into wine? Open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you there's none like you into the darkness you shine and out of the ashes we rise there's no one like you there's none like Stronger, Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God, and we say our God is greater, and our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome in power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand again? Again. Then what could stand again?
God, God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. And our God is healer. He's awesome in power. Our God, our God. And we say our God is greater. And our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Awesome in power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand again? Again. Then what could stand again? Praise the Lord. Our God is greater. Hallelujah. Our God is stronger. And he is higher than any other. Hallelujah. He's ruler. He's sovereign king. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm happy to have God in my life. How about you? Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. We thank the praise team as always. Amen. For dynamic praise and worship. We bless the name of the Lord for you, you, and you that are joining us. Amen. On this afternoon online. Amen. And even those of you that are here. Amen. In the sanctuary, we bless God for you, you, and you. Amen. I'm just going to come forth with a few announcements. Amen. Just a few announcements. Amen. For, especially for this new month that we're in, new month of March 2021. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord for he's even allowed us to come this far. Amen. Even with everything that has been going on, God is still in the blessing business. Amen. And we can't thank and praise him enough for everything that he has done for us. Amen. Just a few announcements. Amen. Holy Trinity, remember Fourth Sunday. Amen. Remember, we have uh, Fourth Sunday is a building fund Sunday. We do want to thank you for your continued support of this ministry. We thank you. We bless God for you, you and you. Amen. Um, join us every Tuesday night for our prayer line at seven o'clock p.m. Every Wednesday for noonday prayer at twelve noon. And every Thursday night for our Holy Trinity Church Bible Talk at 7 o'clock p.m. Amen. The Bible Talk for this month, amen. We are in the book of Ephesians, amen. And there's one number you dial, amen, for all three of those services. Amen. That number being 857-232-0476. Amen. The conference code being 897654. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you that have been joining us. Amen. For our Tuesday night prayer, our Wednesday night, Wednesday afternoon prayer. Amen. And our Thursday night Bible talk. Amen. Spread the word. If you want to join us. Amen. Also, on next Sunday, next Sunday, March 14th. Amen. Our sister church, the Church of Hope Revival Center. Amen. Located at 633 Fairfield Avenue right here in Bridgeport. 
They'll be celebrating their 10th church anniversary. Amen. On next Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock. Amen. The Gospel Messenger for that grand service will be our own Bishop Riley. Amen. The service will be held at Church of Hope. Amen. Revival Center. Again, their address is 633 Fairfield Avenue. Amen. Here in the city of Bridgeport. Amen. That service again next Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock. Amen. For those of you looking forward, amen. Saturday, March 20th will be the first day of spring. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Not complaining, but we've had a very pretty good winter. Amen. These past few years, God has blessed us. And for that, we remain grateful and thankful. Amen. Of course, Sunday, March 20th will be Palm Sunday. Amen. And as always, please continue to pray for the people on our prayer list. Amen. Everyone's sick, shut in, uh, in, ho in hospitals, convalescent homes, rehab centers. Amen. Just those, your sisters and brothers, amen, that are standing in the need of prayer. Amen. You can never have too much prayer, and so we bless the name of the Lord. Amen. For you, you, and you. Amen. And since we are in a new month of March, Amen. We want to send greetings and uh, birthday greetings and happy anniversary greetings to each and every one celebrating for this month of March, whether it's a birthday or an anniversary. We bless God for you, you, and you, and we hope that you have a blessed birthday and or anniversary for, amen, this month of March. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. And one last announcement. Amen. We have been doing our virtual services for quite some time. Amen. I just want you to know um, we endeavor. Amen. We plan to be back in our in-person worship. Amen. For our Easter Supper service, which will be on April the 4th. Amen. That first Sunday in April, we endeavor to be back in in-person worship for Sunday, April the 4th. Amen, which is Resurrection Sunday. And there will also be communion on that Sunday. Amen. With all of that being said, we bless the name of the Lord once again for this opportunity and for this space and time. Amen. And for any of you that are joining us, amen, first joining us, amen, online, and we bring you greetings from the Holy Trinity Church located at 66 Federal Street here in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. Amen. We bless God for you, you and you joining us, and even for those of you here in the sanctuary. Amen. At this time, we are going to, amen, call the praise team back. Amen. For one selection before, amen, before, amen, the bishop comes with the word, with the word of the day. Amen. Praise team, God bless you.
the blood that Jesus shed for me. Way back on, on Calvary. Of the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never lose his power. Oh.
His power. The dare like it reaches the feeble, it reaches the infirm, it reaches the weak and strong. Oh, you're not out of reach. Oh, you're not out of reach. Oh, you are not out of reach. Oh, bless him. Bless him in your home. Bless him in your home. Bless him. Oh, bless the wonderful name of Jesus. And thank him for the blood. Thank him for the blood. Oh, bless the name of God, our Father. In the wondrous, sweet name of Jesus, we thank you because of the blood, not the blood of heifers and goats and lambs, but thank you for the precious blood of Jesus, knowing that we were not redeemed with silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Jesus. Give us, God, unction today and your might to declare your word of God to your people that's listening, those watching, and those that got a hold of this thing called salvation that has now an eternal precious weight of glory. Look on the precious mother be morning. Look on our precious Bishop Rouse. Look on so many others. Look on Elder Evelyn Mason today. And oh God, we ask you to touch and bring our brother Gerald Graham 
back home. You can do it. There's nothing out of reach of your blood. Thank you for these that have come and assembled, those work so hard and, and labor so wonderfully behind the scenes. We give your name to praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, the Spirit of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. And he's one with us in this room here at 66 Federal Street in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. And we're so thankful how those wonderful brothers are playing so skillfully on the music. Elder D, another time presiding, and Sister Mariah doing a beautiful job, as always, leading praise and worship. And the last song rendered by our own Elder Renice Michelle, The Blood. The Blood. On last Sunday, we took an opportunity that was not planned to honor one of our brothers that passed from this life to eternity on January 2020. And uh, some of his elders were here, reverends, Hervis, Murray, Chestnut, Evangelist, Mayberry, and they were here by surprise and we wanted to do something before the, the Black History Month went out. And so within minutes of time, they put something together to remember Reverend Dr. John Morning. To the family there, we respect Sister Rovina Morning and the Morning family along with the St. John family. Today, let's look into God's word. In the book of Genesis, in the front of your Bible, Genesis chapter 4, verse 9. And the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel, thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what has thou done? The voice of my brother's blood crieth unto me from the grave. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which has opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood. Again, verse 10, and he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Finding your Bibles. The book of Hebrews. Chapter 12. Verse 18, for ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, and that burned with fire, nor unto blackness, and darkness, and tempest, and the sound of a trumpet, and the voice of words, which voice they had that they heard entreated that the word should not be spoken to them anymore. For they, they could not endure that which was commanded, and if so much as a beast touched the mountain, 
it shall be stoned or thrust through with a dart. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. But you are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. 24, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Praise the Lord. There is a television show that is called The Voice. On the show there are judges, four of them, renowned singing artists, sitting with their back to the stage. They listen to people one by one audition for a place to ultimately win the grand prize at the end. The judges are listening. And they're listening for voice control. They're listening to see if he or she will stay on pitch and not change gears or change keys. The judges are listening for a good tone, good vowel sounds, smooth or hard. They're listening for a clear enunciation and strong support. And he's listening to determine if the one that's auditioning knows how or knows their limit and their range. And also listening to see if what they do make it sound easy, effortless. And then while they're auditioning, they're listening to see, or to hear rather, if they are singing with feeling, feeling, and they turn to be a part of the negotiation, if they hear all the above things in that voice. And then we have Whitney Houston that had a strong background in the black church was a legend and so many around the world called Whitney Houston the voice. But today the voice that speaks better than Abel's voice comes out of heaven. The Hebrew writer tells us that we look unto him. In Hebrews chapter 12, we look unto him. In other words, we stared in awe. Stared in awe. In the text, the background changes. Remember when we went to the schools to watch our children participate in the plays? And because there was only one stage, they had to change the background for the next scene. And what they would do, they would close the curtains 
to change the background. And this is what's happening in our text today. The Hebrew writer is doing the same thing. He closes the curtain on Mount Sinai. And then he opens the curtain again. And we behold Mount Zion. I'm thankful to Almighty God for the change. The change that happened over generations. The change that ultimately turned lives 180 degrees. The change that if Moses was here today, he would appreciate the change in the background. For even Moses feared Mount Sinai. And to keep the law was impossible for anyone to do. But Mount Zion is much glorious and accessible. Mount Zion is the gospel church. The church triumphant. And when we think about Mount Zion, we see it depicted in verse 22. It is the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels. Not only is this glorious church, a futuristic landmark and property. It is a society as well. When we think about that, we have the general assembly and the church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. What a wonderful backdrop to an awesome bad drop from Mount Sinai. Then we think about we have by faith and the works of Jesus a dual citizenship. Even though we have our citizenship down here on planted earth in these United States of America, we have a citizenship in heaven. That's why the old saints used to sing the song, one day I'm going where Jesus is. And oh, heaven, heaven is mine. And the Bible tells us when it talks about all the things that preceded verse 24. And it sounds like when it says, and to Jesus, it sounds like he's put on the back burner. But Jesus is never put on the back burner. He is foremost. He is uppermost. He gets all the preeminence of being the Son of God. That's why he's the author and the finisher of our faith. The one and only that's seated at the right hand of God. When we look at the text in Genesis, we find a noble young man, one of the sons of Abram, Adam, and Eve, and the other son Cain. And because of Abel's sacrifice, Cain grew angry and jealous, and he slew his brother. But you know, 
jealousy is an ugly thing. And God knows how to deal with the ugly as well as the pretty. When we think about Abel's blood and the voice that spoke out of heaven and we compare it to the blood of Jesus and the voice that spoke out of heaven, Jesus' blood was bloody sweat in the garden of Gethsemane. Jesus' blood was the blood of the crowns pressed on his head. Jesus' blood was the scourging or the whipping before he went to Calvary. Jesus' blood was the nail prints pierced in his hands and in his foot. Jesus' blood, help me Holy Ghost, was a spear that was stuck in his side. And the Bible declared, out came blood and water. But the blood and the voice from the blood sprinkles better than the blood of Abel. God is better. What God has done through his son Jesus is supreme. No human being can match what God has did in the life of Jesus to bring and to wrought salvation. Oh, the Bible says he looked around heaven and he couldn't find none. And one and only one was able to step forth and do the work that Jesus did. No one in our Bible tells us that he said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book to do thy will, O God. He's going to take away the first to establish the second. What makes Jesus' blood the better? What makes Jesus' blood supreme? Because in Abel's blood, it spoke of anger. It spoke of revenge. It spoke of guilt. It spoke of revenge, how God had revenged his son Abel. What makes Jesus' blood supreme and better? Jesus' blood speaks of mercy. It speaks of grace. And it speaks of forgiveness. And Paul says, what a mighty God we serve, and there's none like him in all the earth. Then our Bible tells us that Jesus is the mediator of the new covenant. He bridges the gap that bring folk back to God. Oh, the gap that Adam created. Oh, the gap that Adam brought between God and man. Here come Jesus over many generations. And the Isaiah cried out, Arise and shine, for thy light is come. But when Jesus came, he reached across the gap. He reached across the void. And he linked humanity up with God. What a mighty God we serve. Then we find out that in Hebrews 9, 14, that the blood purges from dead works. Those dead works are things that are done in, in the flesh to earn salvation. But we don't need no dead works. We don't need rituals. We don't need ceremonies to bring us in a right relationship with our God. All we need is Jesus.